or scale, this is the Hiroshima Blast. This is Mount Everest. This is the altitude of an average airliner. And this is Tsar Bomba's Blast, the most powerful nuclear bomb ever detonated. In 1962, Tsar Bomba was tested by the Soviet Union in Severny Island. It was 3,333 times more powerful than the Hiroshima bomb. All buildings within 34 miles of the test site were destroyed. Windows 600 miles away, as far as Norway and Sweden, were shattered. The shockwave of this detonation circled the Earth three times, and the plane that dropped it was almost destroyed by the shockwave. For another sense of scale, if Tsar Bomba was dropped in New York City, this would be the size of its destruction. Currently, 15,600 nuclear weapons exist in the world, which are owned by only nine countries. But what will happen if a nuclear bomb detonates in space? Be sure to subscribe and like this video to be entered into our Amazon gift card giveaway. We know that there is no oxygen in space, and fortunately, or maybe unfortunately, nuclear bombs don't rely on oxygen. Not only do these bombs work in space, but they are continuously being exploded on the stars and the sun. Since there is no air or atmosphere in space, if a nuclear bomb detonates in space, there will be no sound no iconic mushroom cloud, and no shockwave. This is good news because shockwaves are what cause the most damage when a nuclear bomb explodes on Earth. Instead, light, heat, and radiation in the form of X-rays or gamma rays will be shot out with no atmospheric gases to stop them, destroying nearby spacecraft or satellites. The radioactive material from the blast can spread over our entire planet and affect us all. Perhaps more worrying than the radiation dropped into the Earth will be the blast's charged particles. When a nuclear bomb detonates, the blast will release charged particles and electrons. These highly charged particles will immediately interact with our planet's magnetic field. They will then create an incredible, powerful magnetic field called electromagnetic pulse, or EMP, which will bellow out all the electronic power within thousands of miles beneath the blast. In 1962, the United States conducted a high-altitude nuclear test named Starfish Prime at 250 miles altitude above the Johnston Island. This was the biggest nuclear bomb ever detonated in outer space and 95 times more powerful than the Hiroshima nuclear bomb. The blast shape was spherical. It lit up the entire sky and created a massive aurora that could be seen thousands of miles away. Auroras happen when charged particles that the sun sends to our planet interact with the gases in our atmosphere. In case of a nuclear detonation in space, the charged particles are released from the blast, creating a beautiful scene visible from a thousand miles away. In the case of Starfish Prime, the electron particles caused power outages over thousands of miles from Hawaii, disabled six satellites, blew out streetlights, crippled navigation and radar systems, and shut down the entire electronic communication. Starfish Prime was only 3% the size of Tsar Bomba. Imagine the technological devastation caused by an EMP big enough to shut down an entire country. Obviously, nuclear bombs are never good news, whether on Earth or in space. In 1963, Limited Test Ban Treaty prohibited all nuclear detonations in space.